Hey everyone, Mosh here. A few days ago, I published a Spring Boot tutorial on this channel, and some of you asked, what is Spring Boot and why should I learn it? Great questions. In this short video, I'll break it down for you, what Spring Boot is, why it exists, and most importantly, why learning it can be a game changer for your career. Let's start with the Spring Framework, because to really understand Spring Boot, you need to know where it comes from. Spring is one of the most popular frameworks for building Java applications. Think of it like a toolbox. It's got everything you need to build scalable, enterprise-grade applications. And it's modular, which means you can pick and choose the modules you need. These modules are broadly categorized into a few different layers. At the core, we have modules for handling dependency injection and managing objects. I know it might sound confusing, but trust me, I've covered this in depth in my Spring Boot course. It's not really that complicated. In the web layer, we have modules for building web applications. With these modules, we can handle HTTP requests, process data, and return responses, whether it's HTML for a web page or JSON for an API. In the data layer, we have modules for working with databases, whether you're using SQL, NoSQL, or even in-memory databases. We also have a module for adding cross-cutting features like logging or security without cluttering the main code. This is called AOP or aspect-oriented programming. We also have Spring Test for testing of Spring components. By the way, the Spring framework is just one part of a larger family of projects in the Spring ecosystem. These projects extend the capabilities of the framework to address specific needs. For example, we have Spring Data for simplifying database access, Spring Security for adding authentication and authorization to your applications, Spring Batch for batch processing, Spring Cloud for building microservices and distributed systems, Spring Integration for simplifying messaging and integration between systems, and more. So Spring is amazing, but it comes with a catch. It requires a lot of setup. For example, if you want to build a web application, you might need to set up a web server, configure routing, and manage dependencies manually. This can make development slower and more complex. And that's exactly why Spring Boot was created. Spring Boot is a layer on top of Spring that removes all the painful setup. Think of it like this. If Spring is a toolbox, Spring Boot is a pre-assembled workstation. Instead of spending hours setting things up, you can just start coding right away. It comes with sensible defaults, auto configuration, and embedded servers. So you can go from an idea to a working application in minutes. That's why Spring Boot is one of the most widely used Java frameworks in the industry. Major companies like Netflix, Amazon, and Google rely on it to build scalable applications. And because of that, Spring Boot developers get paid really well. According to Glassdoor, Spring Boot developers earn between $160,000 and $300,000 a year, which is huge. If you're a Java developer, learning Spring Boot can open up better job opportunities and higher salaries. Now, I know someone in the comment is already typing, Mosh, why are you talking about job opportunities? Haven't you heard AI is taking over, coding is dead? Yeah, sure. But you know, go ahead and let ChatGPT build your next production system. Let's see how that goes. So now that you know why Spring Boot is so valuable, the next step is learning it properly. I've just uploaded the first hour of my Spring Boot course for free on YouTube, where I walk you through the fundamentals step by step. I've put the link for you in the description box. And by the way, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe because I post coding tutorials all the time. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.